Hello everyone and welcome to the Andy Griffith Show Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Um, before we get started, I want to ask you if you have not yet, please subscribe and please share these out on your Facebook page or your social media, whatever. Uh, and please give us a like if you like what you see. Today's video is on how uh, Howard Morris, who played Ernest e. Bass, uh, predicted that Ron Howard would be a director. Let's check it out. Howard Morris was one of the funniest character actors on TV for decades. Best known for playing troublemaking hillbilly, hillbilly Ernest T. E. Bass on The Andy Griffith Show. Morris also voiced many animals in the Flintstones as well as a futuristic rock star Jet Screamer in the J Jetsons. He started his career in live sketches on Sid Caesar, your show of shows, alongside Carl Reiner. While his talents in front of the camera are obvious, Morris had a completely different and equally successful side in his career. He jumped behind the camera in the 1960s and began directing episodes of the decade's most popular sitcoms. Uh, his directorial debut was the Dick Van Dyke Show episode, The Ballad of Betty Lou, reuniting him with fellow Sid Caesar, Caesar protege Carl Reiner. Morris soon uh, graduated to helming episodes of Bewitched, Hogan's Heroes, and of course, The Andy Griffith Show. It was on the Mayberry set that Morris met a young man he predicted would also make the transition from acting to directing. <clears throat> that kid, of course, was Ronnie Howard. Howard recently told The Hollywood Reporter about how being on set sparked his curiosity for filmmaking and how Howard Morris would see a bright future behind the camera for the young star. I was curious about the camera, and I loved listening to the writers talk about rewrites, and I began to see that almost all of our directors have been actors first. Among them, the great comedy star Howard Morris, who was also an excellent director. Ron Howard remembered, When I was about ten, he said, I see you looking around and asking questions. I bet you wind up being a director. Morris could not have been more right, although with Howard's $4.3 billion in box office receipts to dates and two Oscars, wind up being a director. Uh, reads like quite an understatement. We wonder if Howard Morris ever played the lotto with that kind of foresight, although many would say he had already won, playing one of Mayberry's most memorable characters, not to mention his long career both behind and in front of the camera on some of the greatest TV shows. And that's how he predicted that Ronnie Howard would become a director. And boy, was he right. Anyway, that's all I got for you. I uh, appreciate you being here. I hope your weekend's going great. Have a blessed Sunday. God bless you, and I'll be praying for you. And before I leave, uh, my uncle last night uh, has been in the hospital for a while. Uh, he's had COVID uh, earlier in the year, and he had to have heart surgery earlier in the year. And now uh, he's got some kind of a uh, blood clot type thing. Uh, but he took a turn for the worse last night, and they put him on a ventilator and put him back in the ICU. And he was getting ready to go home. So if you wouldn't mind, send a few prayers up for him. I appreciate it. And I'll be praying for you. Thank you.